Hello, my friends. Hello, Dixieville family. Welcome to the Dixieville page and to my page. My name is Angela and I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. I'm a premier retailer for Dixieville um, over here in Frankfurt, Germany. My glasses always sit, sit crooked on my head. <laughs> I'm a premier retailer for Dixieville over here in Frankfurt in Germany. Uh, my shop is located uh, nearby Frankfurt. Hi mein Schatz, hi Libby. Um, yeah, and uh, when you tune in, just let me know where you're watching from um, and what time it is at your place. I always find it amazing that um, the internet is like pulling the whole world together. It is uh, 9 p.m. over here in Germany, so just let me know what time it is uh, where you're watching from. So, um, tonight we are working on this uh, dresser here. Oh, and if you have any questions, just um, hi Dixieval. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comments. I will try to answer that straight away. Um, if I'm not doing it straight away, I will come back uh, later and answer that for you. So, guys, um, this um, little dresser is going to have uh, loads of blues. Hi, Anne. Thank you for joining. Hi, Sonia. Good to see you. Loads of people joining. That's great. Thank you, guys. Thank you for being with me. Oh, before I forget, I would highly appreciate if you pop over to my page and leave me a like there. How does that mean? Um, okay, loads of blues tonight. And uh, the plan is for the whole piece. This is this is the, the color scheme. I, I think I'm going to stick with. Uh, I want to have, like, uh, I will start at the bottom with a darker blue, the Bunker Hill blue, then it's going to go into the cobalt blue, um, probably into the blueberry. I will see how that turns out. A little bit uh, of haint blue, um, mermaid tail. I want to have a little bit of greenish going to the top and um, antebellum blue, probably. I see if I like it, uh, you know, the first coat is uh, basically laying the colors down. Thank you guys for joining. Hi, Martin. Thank you, April, for being with me. Hi, Victoria. So uh, the first code for me is always um, to put the colors down, see if I like it, and uh, if I want to uh, have any changes or if I don't like uh, a particular color, I just come back on a second code and I correct that. So if you, it's only paint, you know, if you don't like it, you just paint over it. Okay, so this is the plan. And... Um, I've got a bunch of brushes. My favorites are the mini brush from Dixieville. I also got uh, a mini angle and uh, a flat brush because I'm going to use for each uh, color uh, a separate brush. And if I'm going to do some blending, I see how the colors go with each other. I've got uh, Hi Yvonne, thank you for joining. Um, I've got the oval medium for like uh, erasing those transition lines. So, um, Mr. Bottle, I knew I forgot something. I always forget something. I always think I have everything with me, but I've got it close to me. Mr. Bottle, um, you know, a painter's best friend is uh, the Mr. Bottle and baby wipes. So I've got those close to me. And the plan um, basically is on the on the sides, on the top. I'm not quite sure. Probably on the sides, I'm going to go uh, with a transfer from IOD. And um, I want to do some aging. And usually um, when I um, use C-spray, I use it uh, basically underneath my things. But this time I'm going to go with the C-spray over the top. So if I put the, the transfer on the sides, I'm going to do with the aging over the top so that it basically looks like uh, the transfer is like uh, fading out. So that's the plan. No more talking. Um, I've put the, the colors I'm using. <coughs> that film. I put the colors I'm using on this board here also so um, you can basically check on the colors I am using. So um, let's get going. Any questions by now? Oh, I just bought that transfer. Can't wait to see how you use it. Oh, 
that's the great thing about those transfers. You know, everybody uses it in a in a different way. You know, it's like I love to cut it apart and um, put it together and stuff like that. So I'm going to put the paints in order. Oh, I want to use them. So. When you use the chalk mineral paints from Dixieville, um, mix them up nicely beforehand so that all the ingredients... Hello, my God, Sata. Hi to Poland. Thank you for joining me. So... Hi, Zen. Thank you, guys. So, mix them up nicely and uh, that all the ingredients uh, mixed up uh, which may be settled uh, on the bottom of the jar. So in the um, Bunker Hill Blue, Dixie Bell has got like a couple of darker, darker blues and the Bunker Hill Blue is a uh, Miss Muscle at work. <laughs> Guys, I'm a messy painter, so my jars um, most of the time look pretty messy. So this one I haven't used for a while. You see that there's like a little bit of skin on top there, which is no problem. You know, this is, uh, you just can take it off and uh, the paint is still fine. It's just a bit of skin. You just take it off. And the skin uh, inside is, is still fine. This was basically where the lid was on top. There was still some paint in there that dried and now stuck onto the, the top of the paint. So, um, Bunker Hill Blue is a, a dark blue, but uh, it's pretty vibrant. And uh, I want to have uh, pretty vibrant colors on this piece here. So, painting. I always like to work with a damp brush, especially when I plan into um, blending the colors into each other. And basically, um, where to order from Dixie Bell? Robin, where are you at? Which country are you in? So um, you can go to the Dixie Bell page and uh, under the section, uh, find your local retailer. Maybe Dixie Bell can put the, um, can put the link uh, in the comments. Uh, you can check for your local retailer. They're basically all over the world now. So that's uh, pretty easy. Um, let's, let's, oh yeah, let's, let's start on the front. So on the bottom, make sure that you can see everything. On the bottom, I'm going to work with dark colors up. And gonna go from there. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Jane. Hello, Claudia. Barcelona. Hola. So, um, this piece has been prepped um, only by cleaning it uh, nicely. So you always got to make sure um, Dixie Bell chalk mineral paints you can use basically without sanding or stuff like that uh, with your pieces. So this piece has been uh, cleaned nicely. Um, when you're in the US, you um, are lucky. You can get the white lightning cleaner from Dixie Bell, which is really, really good. I managed to lay my hands on here, but we can't really get it over here in Europe. So maybe one day. Um, but always make sure that you clean your pieces nicely because obviously when there is still some whatever grease or nicotine or something like that on there, nothing is going to stick. And you can already see how great those paints cover. So and I just like, oops. I only have like a little bit of paint on the uh, oh, iPhone there. Okay. So I always like to work in um, with thin coats 
And you can see how smoothly this paint just goes on and the coverage is, is really, really good. See those cute legs. People are following me. They know I've got a, a heart for those Chippendale um, furniture pieces. I just love their curvy legs and stuff like that. I think that's quite cute. So as I said, um, all the, the things I do and everything I'm telling you, it's basically, um, I want to give you an idea, you know, maybe some help. Um, this is the way I do it. I'm not saying that this is like the way to do it. Um, there's loads of way to achieve a certain look or something like that. Um, um, a lot of times I'm trying out new things, you know, I have an idea and I'm just like going on and I'm just like trying it out, you know, sometimes it works and sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, you know, so, but the things I'm showing you is the way I do it. Maybe you do it different. I always be happy to hear. So that's the way I do it. If you like it, I'm very happy. Then let me know. And also let me know if you have like a, a better idea doing it. So always, um, I like to work always with thin coats. Firstly, the paint dries quicker. And um, I'm not gonna go up in an ombre, just like an ombre from top to bottom. I wanna lay the color like a little differently. I want to get with the dark one a little up on the sides here. And this is the reason I'm painting with the drawers in. Um, uh, I leave the drawers in at the moment for the painting, you know, because um, I want to have like an all over you view where I'm laying my paint down at the moment. And guys, if uh, I sometimes uh, stumble with my words or something like that, uh, after all, I am German, so sometimes I'm lost for words. But the funny thing is, I do quite a quite a few German uh, lives also. <laughs> I do the German lives. I'm, I'm missing the German words for certain things, so it doesn't matter in which language I, <laughs> I'm here. So that's sometimes quite funny. So I'm going to come in with my cobalt blue, very vibrant, vibrant blue. Any questions? What do you do with the finished piece? Do you want to buy it? <laughs> I don't know yet. It is for sale, so if some, uh, somebody would like to have it, um, you're very welcome. So. Uh, Yes, I'm, pay, I'm painting over the handles. Yeah, those are a bit of a pain to take off and um, I quite like them. I think they're quite funny. There's, they've got like this, this wings and stuff like that. I quite like that. So this brush is uh, still a little damp because I was uh, painting before. So now I'm gonna come in going to paint over the handles as I said. Okay, those colors together I already like. And the first coat I'm not so much worried about blending the paint. I just want to lay it down and um, second coat I'm gonna come in and um, blend the colors together. I quite like that. Up to here. Make sure I get in all those um, details. I'm very happy for this piece. In Germany, it's sometimes uh, not that easy to find like uh, those nice pieces 
he has a lot of um yeah either they are ridiculously expensive the people want to have like some ridiculously amount of money um obviously that doesn't make any sense yes bunker old blue that's right hi kathy So, and as I said, I'm leaving the drawers in because I'm not having, like, um, I want to see, you know, like the whole picture, you know, where I lay the colors down. So let's see how the blueberry does in it. Let's see if I'm going to go a little further up. As with the bunker hole blue and with the cobalt blue. So, and if you feel the paint starts dragging, that's where your magic Mr. Bubble comes in. Go a little further up with the cobalt blue also. And the, as I said, those paints are dry really, really quick, which is a great benefit because you can um, continue with the second coat much quicker than with other paints also. And you will need with this one also at the most two coats. It's like um, almost covered at the bottom here. So yes, it's only water in that um, in that uh, Mr. Bottle. So blueberry. Who's into blueberry? Yes, that's right. No sanding, no priming, just cleaning your piece. Really, really nice. That's the most important thing. So this one is dry. I'm just going to mist it a little bit. I'm not soaking it. I just, this is just my preference. I just like it a little, a little damp. Um, I wiped it down. I actually I wiped this one down with white lightning. We, we don't uh, um, get it over here in Europe, um, even as uh, as retailer. But uh, I had a lovely friend um, giving it to me, so I'm very happy. Um, if I'm over here, well, as I said, in Europe we we can't get it at the moment. So blueberry, it's a light blue. And now I'm going to see if I like it. This is just going to brighten it up further up. And this is going to be my color, which is supposed to go into the, I want to end up a little bit um, of tea in like the teal direction. I'm having um, I'm having mermaid tail and antebellum blue. So I'm going to bring that up here. Probably a little darker on the outside. I'm going to bring my the cobalt blue up on the side. What's going 
And as I said, guys, this is just the first coat. I'm basically just deciding where I'm laying my colors down. So this is not um, this is not how it's uh, staying at the end. This is basically for me to get an idea if I do like the colors together anyway. But I think I quite like that by now. What do you think? Oh, I wish I had known to do it uh, do a blue blended to where the colors fade into each other and when it's finished it looks like a pair of faded blue jeans. Um, well, I haven't intended to do a blue jeans uh, type of, um, well, that's correct, those colors are probably going to end up like uh, blue jeans, but uh, I'm going to have like a little bit of teal up here, so um, maybe next time, maybe next time. I think I think Christana has done. Um, she had done a, a type of uh, a jeansy type with like the 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 structure going on also. Uh, I think it was last year or something like that. So blow my tail again. Always mix the colors up and blow my tail. That must be my favorite color. This is definitely one of my favorites. So, a little bit of water, mixing it up. Um, how do you do a second coat when you blend? Um, it's difficult to explain, just stay with me and watch. So I hope maybe we can um, get you the second coat. I'll just do the front for now. And so. so the first coat is uh, just laying it down. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I like that. I have a, I do a lot of blues. I just, I just love blue. This always reminds me of the ocean and um, so I'm also a scuba diving instructor and I'm missing the sea very, very much. As I said, I'm in uh, Germany here, so yes. You see, with the lighter colors, coverage is really, really nice. But I like this um, this together. I do like that. Yes, those are the. Yeah, I didn't explain it before. Those are the synthetic brushes from Dixie Bell. Um, they have very soft bristles, but they are still firm enough so that when you, you know, when you, when you, um, maybe you can see better like this, when you paint, that the bristles don't go all over the way, but they are nice and soft, so you can, you know, you're not getting any brush strokes and, and something like that. The chalk mineral paints from Dixie Bell, um, a great benefit of them is also that they are self-leveling. Sorry. That they are self-leveling. There she is. She wants to say hello again. This is Chiara. So, my baby. <laughs> um, where was it? Yeah, they have very, very soft bristles, but uh, they don't leave any brush strokes and the the paints from Dixie Bell, they are self-leveling. So I forgot the hand blue, didn't I? I'll see if I want to put it in there. i see if I want to put it in there or not, but maybe just like a little. 
I don't know if I like it. I think I quite like it like this at the moment. So if you want to have brush strokes, you have to do, you can actually, you know, you can get that if you want to have like this uh, real chippy, chippy look, you can achieve that by, um, I'm just going to get this one there. Yep. Was it big when Jack's little bit harder to get like another brush, hang on. Just like a tiny one. I'm going to see if that works. Um, you can achieve like um, brush strokes if you want to have that. But uh, it is easier to make brush strokes than to uh, avoid them. So this is a great benefit of those paints. Don't drink the paint. Nope. And they are VOC free. So <laughs> they don't harm you. But uh, you shouldn't drink those. in there to brighten it up or not. I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe I do to give it a bit of a highlight before it goes up into the into the mermaid tail. This is a nice thing you know this is so you can just like play around with the with those colors. And um, I'm, you know, uh, painting just with a very light brush stroke. What do you think? Paint blue in there? I think that's quite fun. Before we go to the mermaid tail. So now I can break that further up. top is going to end in antebellum blue which is going to be a little darker greenish blue. Tail up to there. Guys, when I paint, I have a rough idea um, which direction I am going. And um, yeah, I like that. I have a rough idea which direction I'm going and I just I just flow with the piece. I'm just gonna check if there is any questions I've missed. Hello to Greek. Um it looks like water. Yeah, you're probably. It looks like a lagoon. Yeah, you're right. You know, going from the the deep sea, you know, onto the beach. That's right. Yeah. Oh, uh, hi, Angie. So, hello, Kami. Okay, no questions. I can see. Dixiebel, thank you for helping me out there. If I miss any questions, I come back uh, later. I'll just put it back. Um, in again where is my <laughs> guys you know that from me in which color am i missing now where is my antebellum blue who's nicked it one two three i did have it here didn't i <laughs> not only the spool it's always the same I have everything with me, and at the end, I'm missing something. It's not standing on the top. It's not standing on the top. And all the jars open. There's my coffee cup. Hang on. Stay with me. Stay with me. That's Palmetto. There it is. <laughs> it was hiding from me. It was hiding. I'm sorry. 
So antebellum blue, it is like a greenish blue and it blends beautifully into the mermaid tail. That's what I think anyway. So this is like a greenish blue and this is just gonna go on the top here. Now I forgot to miss that. So just put uh, a little bit on there. So I forgot to miss my brush. So I'm just going to miss my piece a little bit. This is basically just to have the, the brush glides easier over the surface. So as per usual, I haven't decided what I'm going to the do going to do to the top. down a little bit on the sides and now I've got the um, the flat large which is pretty big and it has, um, it takes really a lot of paint. So if you have like a bigger project, this brush is just perfect. You don't need to reload it that much and uh, you can just like carry on. So guys, I think I found my color scheme, which I'm going to stick with. Not quite like that. So this is the first coat. What's the time? See if we can just like go for the second coat now. I'm gonna come in with my uh, heat gun now, and uh, um, yes, Kelly, it's like uh, this one is uh, cobalt. This is from Bunker Blue into the cobalt into the um blueberry into hay blue into mermaid tail into antebello blue so i got all the colors on there yeah thank you amy thank you for joining me so i'm just going to use my heat gun now Sorry for the noise, it's going to be a little loud. When you when you do your painting, those paints, they dry, just look at my fingers, like all over the blue. Um, they dry really quick. So, you know, be patient, give them their time. The drying times, they do have their purpose, you know, that the paints at the end really, you know, are solid on the piece. I'm just, I, most of us artists in between, we use a heat gun just to speed it up a little bit so you can see more during this like 45 minutes we are on here for you so excuse the noise And when the paints dry, you probably couldn't see that from that distance. When they're still wet, they um, are pretty shiny. And this is because they are damp. And when they they dry, they have like this um, yeah, this like this lovely flat finish. You know, that's what I love about those uh, chalk and oil paints. So again, I have not planned on having like very smooth um, transitions here. As I said, I'm going to have um, it this way, the other way around. I'm going to age the piece with a little, with a little bit of sea spray, but
but this is going to go on top to yeah well it's difficult to explain what i've got in my head um just stay with me and watch it so we won't finish it today um this we are going to get on to um next week so um let's get going on the bottom again lay down the second coat probably thinking well she just dried it off and now she's putting um water on it again i just like to have the i just use the water basically to um so that the the brush glides easier over the project and as those paints are highly pigmented it doesn't harm them you know they go on smoother you have thinner coats and the coverage is just like amazing so i'm gonna go in for the legs later on and uh, make them look nice I just love the bunker hill blue because it's it's such a it's a dark blue but it's very vibrant. It's a very lively, lively blue. To have that go up here a little more on the sides. So now I'm going to come in with my cobalt blue and um, glasses, glasses, bonjour Martin, merci Yvonne, je regarde le, de beaucoup de vidéos, il faudrait, okay, oula. Tipping over the paint again. So come in with my cobalt blue. Lay it on here. First lay it down. I want to have it and then I'm going to go over the those transition lines and those two colors they blend beautifully which is with each other because they're pretty close together so keep that in your um, keep that in your in your mind when you're new to to blending just um, uh, so you work on a side at the time um, well, I'll do that later. I first want to show you, you know, I want to get uh, going a little bit um, so you can see basically the color scheme I'm going for. Um, it's like you don't need to, to see me do the same thing on the, on the sides now also. I may do that in a German life on my page. So for my German people, um, some of them they don't speak that good English, so they it's easier for them to um, understand. And that's a nice thing, you know. If I have like a big piece like this, I can do it like in English uh, on one page, and the same thing um, in German on the other on my page. So now I'm gonna go a little down into the keep it uh, moist into the banker hill and very light uh, brush strokes you know i'm hardly hardly um touching the surface um keeping it moist not damp that the the paint is running i mean it depends what look you're going for i'm just um keeping that moist at the moment so that the paints can move into each other. So I'm just gonna go back and forth, hardly touching the surface. 
so that the paints move into each other. I'm gonna come in with my Bunker Hill Blue, get like a little paint on there, and I'm gonna come up again into the Cobalt Blue. Just scatter it in there. And as I said, um, when you have like uh, colors close, um, close to each other from the um, from the tint, it's easier um, to blend them into each other. So if you haven't blended before and you're trying it the first time, um, it's easier if you use um, yeah like uh, colors which are close together. You know, like uh, Bunker Hill Blue and um, Cobalt Blue, for example. You know, if you if you go between whatever Bunker Blue and Haint Blue, you can blend those colors, obviously, but uh, it's a, a lot of more work. So when you do it the first time, just uh, use um, colors close to each other and try it that way. And keep your paint moist. And as I said, I'm hardly touching the surface. So now cobalt blue into, I have a little more. You also can do, if you want to have like a perfect transition line, you come back with, um, with a complete dry brush. This is completely dry. I'm not going to dampen it. Um, with this brush, you can basically, if there's anywhere like transition lines or something like that you want to get rid of, you just move it over those lines. And you keep it, I mean, it uh, picks up um, the paint. A little bit you're just like moving it uh, just like a butter butterfly kiss over the surface um, clean it in between so it is uh, dry again and then you go over it so come up to the I'm going to put some more Cobalt blue down the rest. Your paint has to be obviously it has to be damp to be to blend into each other. So come up here. What's the time? Five more minutes. Quick blending. <laughs> Very quick blending. Just try it out, guys. It's really, really easy. So now I come in with my blueberry, is the next. So those two. You can see they're not that close to each other. So this is um, a little more work. So I'm just moving the brush over the surface very, very lightly. Going a little down into the cobalt blue. And obviously it picks up the cobalt blue now as I'm going into it. What you can do, um, if uh, it's too much, too much con contaminated, you just um, clean it up a little. And you can um, just grab a little more of that color. You're going to go down, moist. Oh, 
arm. It's pretty good. And always very light hand. That's how I like to do it. So then you come back again if you want to have it like perfectly blended. Yes, that's right. If you put it down to the side, that's correct. But as the sides are going to be go up, just like uh, the dark on the side up and the dark from the top down. I'm not um, so keen on that at the moment. So the dry brush. And I'm hardly touching the surface, you know, this is just like um, going to stay like that. So now the, um, just clean it off a little bit, the blueberry up into the hate blue. Just pick up a little bit more paint. And um, hand glue is just going to be like a tiny little bit. I don't want to have it too bright at the end. So I'm going to come in with my... You can see that nicely now. It's just like um, making it cloudy, so to say. On this side. It's just getting rid of those brush strokes. So. And paint blue. Just a tiny little bit. Up here. You see how bright that is. Paint blue is very, very bright. I'm just putting it down. I just want to have um, a little bit of it on here. So I'm going to go down into the, keep it moist, hardly touching the surface, very light brush strokes. Yeah. That's it. If you want to, you can come in with your hand glue again and go up, but I quite like it like that. I'm going to leave it. So a little bit of paint blue to go further up into the my my tail. And you see even those two colors they pretty far away from each other so this is a, a little more work to blend those. And now I'm gonna come in with my mermaid tail. Going to start my way from the top to the bottom here. And long strokes over the whole basically area. I want to blend those colors into each other.
helps. When you do that the first time, just um, either do it on the sample board, try it out, or use um, a piece of furniture which has like a, a flat surface and not like those um, drawers because uh, with those edges and stuff like that is a little more tricky. So, but I think that blends beautifully. Again, I don't want to go up and down anymore. That works out beautifully. Come back with my, just to do those edges here. Get rid of those brush strokes. Go up and down sideways. This is basically to cloud it up a little bit. So now a little more mermaid tail. Going to clean my brush a little bit. That's the time. Oh, I'm brushing. Last colors. Mermaid tail on top here into the antebellum. them. So now I'm going to come in with the antebellum blue, with the last color. Oops. I'm moving it down from the top to the bottom now into the mermaid tail. Long brush, long, long, yeah, <laughs> that was German. Long brush strokes, hardly touching the surface, going down into the mermaid tail. When you feel the paint starts dragging, just put uh, a little bit of water on there to keep it moving. So I'm going to come in with the mermaid tail again, go from the bottom up to the top, just go from here. Not quite like that. So come in with my neutral brush. Just outside areas. it and again here when I use this um, the neutral brush I'm hardly touching the surface this is basically just like to cloud um, the the paints into each other so this is the color scheme I'm going for I think I quite like that what do you think you like it guys let's see thank you Dixie Bell Oh, oh, thank you, Shane. It is, it is easy. It's, it's just a little, it's just a little practice, you know, and those colors, they are so fun to, uh, together. So guys, thank you so much. Um, I'm very happy that you've been with me. Dankeschön, Vera. Vielen Dank. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Victoria. So guys, I'm going to go. See if there's any more questions. Oh, questions. Thank you, Judith. Will it be yellow? I'm trying to find out if I can buy this paint. I'm sure you can. I know Dixie Bell is in Canada, so go to the um, go to their website and uh, hello, Yasmin. Schön, dass du da bist. <laughs> so. Thank you. Thank you, Dixie Bell, for letting them know where our page is also. Okay, guys. Oops. Okay. Come here. So, guys, 
again, my name is Angela. I am the owner and creative energy from Elfen und Helden. Uh, I'm a primary retailer for Dixiebel over here in uh, Germany. My shop is located nearby Frankfurt. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, my fur baby needs some love now. I think I've got to go look after her. Uh, I'm going to go back and see if you had any questions. And uh, I hope to see you next Tuesday, guys. Thank you for being with me. You take care. Bye-bye. Say bye. -bye. bye, -bye.